y'all see those little green dots right there? Those are aphids. They did a number on my garden last year and I'm not gonna let them win. Instead of getting rid of them, they're gonna be lunch for somebody. Welcome back to Sewing Seeds of Love. This is Karina, AKA Mrs. Q, because I am a fifth grade science teacher. And that's what the students know me by. If you've never been to my channel before or have never stopped by, I just want to welcome you. I am someone who loves to plant from seeds and yet give back to mother nature when it comes time to composting. Today, I have ladybugs with me. One of the most precious insects that God can give our gardens. So I'm going to be using these ladybugs today in my garden. I'm going to be releasing them. I got these at Rainbow Gardens and they were probably a little bit more than I would have wanted to pay for. Quick story, last year, um, my garden was attacked by aphids. Uh, I had to take a lot of stuff down. They got to my cucumbers. There was aphids everywhere. The year before we had good luck because one day we came out to our garden and I showed my husband Oh my gosh, this is the larvae of ladybugs. And sure enough, we had a whole colony of ladybugs. Mind you, I did not have any issues with aphids that year. Well, I guess after the most recent freeze, they're gone. So we're going to release ladybugs into the garden. Not only do ladybugs eat your aphids, but I was reading the back here and it actually says that they eat, uh, I think I'm saying this right, thripes, thripes. <laughs> They eat spider mites, they eat uh, white fly, mealybugs, leaf hoppers, and more. So from what I understand, the best time to release ladybugs are in the evening. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, the sun is shy of starting to set um, and I'm gonna release them and hopefully they do a great job. They find food and I'm gonna little by little release them over things that I see that already have aphids or things that look like um, they've been eaten on or messed with. So that's what I'm gonna so do what right I've now. What I've done is I've opened up the lid to the ladybugs. You see, they're all crawling up me. I'm gonna have to make sure that they make their way onto the plants and not onto me because they're all crawling on me. But you want them to be near the plant that you want them to work on. So I've already started uh, releasing them onto the cucumber plants. Some of them will fly away and some of them will make their way to insects. As you can tell right here, my cucumber plant is getting eaten by something. Um, so I'm definitely gonna make sure that they are releasing themselves onto the cucumber plant here because obviously there is stuff that is eating my cucumber. So um, they're making their way out of the container into this bed. And then I'll be moving this container over to another bed where I saw other things happening, um, especially my cucumber plant there on that flower. You can already see some aphids. So they're gonna be released and they're gonna find their way to some food. See some other insects in there, but brought my ladybugs over to this flower bed where I've got squash. And I'm just gonna keep walking all over with this container and releasing them where they need to be. Girls, you are not going to want to taste these ladybugs. They don't taste good. So don't come over here thinking I'm going to give you some. Releasing ladybugs. There they go. They're making their way onto the plants. Getting ready to find some insects that they can eat. Awesome ladybugs are beneficial to our gardens. I also set them into my butterfly milkweed because usually in the butterfly milkweed we get lots of aphids. Like right there, those yellow things, believe it or not, they look like part of the plant. Don't let them fool you, those are aphids. So these ladybugs are gonna be so happy to be released where they can go and eat some of these aphids. Our 
Sorry, girlies. You do not want to eat these ladybugs. They don't taste good. Sorry, babies. I don't have worms today. So there they go, making their way onto the butterfly milkweed. I know somebody in this group uh, with San Antonio Gardeners had mentioned that their butterfly milkweed um, and other plants are being attacked by aphids and this is the perfect way to get rid of them without any pesticides or killing them with other things. They're definitely happy right now. They're on their way to find some dinner. Once again, guys, I'm releasing ladybugs. And once again, I brought a container to another one of my cucumber plants. Um, definitely getting attacked by something. So we're gonna release ladybugs into my garden. Hopefully they'll take care of all that. Let's pull this one up. And there they go, making their way onto the plants. Once again, guys, I got this container of ladybugs for $17.99 at Garden, uh, Rainbow Gardens. And there they go. Tomorrow morning um, or the next evening, I'll come and check on them and see what they're doing. But they are hungry and they are ready to eat. Like I said, they've been in my refrigerator for like almost two weeks. There they go. So just wanted to show you firsthand, this is where they all ended up, well, lots of them. They're right there where those yellow speckles are at. Those are aphids. So now they're, as soon as I release them, they're headed there and they're eating dinner. Pretty cool, guys. This is really cool. Once again, I got this container of, the guy said they were 500. Um, I released half of them to my garden at school and um, half of them here at home and they are just going crazy and they're excited um, eating aphids. They're hungry. They, like I said, they've been in my refrigerator for a little over about two weeks or so. And so releasing them. I also have in my greenhouse some butterfly milkweed that um, I'm gonna be putting into the ground soon. And this is where I released my ladybugs and they did so good. Guys, this is one of my plants right here and there literally is no aphids. I didn't spray anything and this is exactly what the ladybugs did. So whether they stuck around or not or flew away, I don't know, but they did the job. And um, I actually saw some in the garden. So maybe they won't stick around here with the pots, but I did see lots of uh, ladybugs still in my garden. And All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping and looking at my channel. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in my garden. Thank you, Sowing Seeds of Love.